Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here, and I'm back with my Soul Level 1 challenge run for Dark Souls 2. In my first episode, I asked how much of this game did you guys want me to complete, and almost everybody said you wanted me to complete as much as I possibly can. So that's what we're going to be doing. I think I'm going to do a pretty standard run. I'm going to collect some large Titanite shards now, upgrade my weapon, and I guess I'll head... Back over to Hyde's Tower, beat the Dragon Slayer, and then go to No Man's. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. Now, in my first episode, I also asked, what did you guys want me to get? A new mic or a new capture card? And a lot of people said capture card, but it seems like the majority of the people actually said new mic. So more than likely, I will end up buying the Blue Yeti this month. But for all you guys who said capture card and you wanted me to get better video quality don't worry I will definitely buy a new capture card sometime in the future and I was gonna buy the black magic but now I don't know because a couple of you guys were recommending different capture cards that I should look into and I definitely will look into it and try to figure out what is the best possible capture card for me oh shit this guy fucking followed me that's crazy Alright, let's go ahead and kill him. Oh man, he does a lot of damage if he hits you, so be extra careful. Die! Alright, he's dead. Now, I definitely do think it's a good idea to go ahead and grab that key. That's really the important thing there. You can also get the Silver Serpent Ring, which is not bad, but I don't really need more souls. That's like really the last thing I need. But whatever. The key though is good because then later on we can go get a soul vessel and we can do a whole bunch of cool stuff. Although there's no reason to do that either because I don't really need a soul vessel. Alright, let's quickly talk to her. Now I've already got one large titanite shard. I'm about to get the second one. And I believe you can get a total of four large titanite shards here. Which is actually really great. And this is what I always recommend to do because you want to be able to upgrade your weapon to plus 5. I don't think you can get it to plus 6 this early on, but you can at least get your weapon to plus 5, so that's not bad. Let's go ahead and use a life gem. I could have probably used a potion. I'm about to get another bonfire. That was probably somewhat of a waste. Oh god, I do not want to get knocked off right here. Uh, screw you. These guys have a lot of range on their attacks. All right, here we go. What did he drop? Oh, hey, I got the Great Machete. I've only ever got that one other time, so... I've never tried it. I've never, like, used it or upgraded it. I probably should sometime in the future try that weapon out. I'm assuming that it sucks, though, because... Anytime that there's a weapon that you never, ever see... In fact, I'm pretty sure... I've only seen that weapon used once in PvP. There was a person who tried it on me. And if I remember right, it was kind of shit. So, I don't know. I don't want to sit here and say that it's a horrible weapon or it's no good or whatever. But, like I said, if you don't see a weapon in PvP used by other people, there's a good chance the weapon's probably not all that great. Alright, let's kill this guy. Oh, and I totally missed! I need to be careful, though, because I don't have much health. Alright, one more hit should do it. And he's dead. Nice. Now we can basically push this down and open up McDuff's workshop. And that really sucks. Okay, that really sucks. I need to lure these dogs away. I don't want to accidentally break that barrel. Come on. Come on over here so I can kill you. Oh, man, I hate the dogs. I hate the dogs. They're annoying as hell. Okay, and I can only survive about two more hits, so I do want to heal real quick. Now let's go kill the dogs. Screw you, dogs. I hate that lunge attack they get because they will lunge so far past you that it's just so annoying there we go they're dead now okay so what we're gonna need to do here is that we're gonna need to push the barrel back in front of the door oh need to be careful still oh god come on push it there we go oh no not against the wall not against the wall we need it to get away from the wall come on Urgh! oh god now it's like totally stuck alright it's not really stuck though because we should be able to break that and continue to try to push it? Come on. I've never had this happen before where I've literally got this thing stuck. There we go. That's what we wanted. We wanted to move forward a little bit. And like right here is fine because the explosion still should blow up the wall. 
And yeah, just simply throw a firebomb or something that will explode it. Come on. There we go. Alright, I probably got kind of lucky there. Because if I would have missed that second firebomb, I would have been screwed. Alright, so let's rest here real quick. There probably was no reason to rest there. Let's light this torch. I definitely think this is a good idea to light the torch. Light this other torch and then yeah if you rest at the bonfire again the blacksmith will move and you can open up that chest and you actually get something that's really cool out of this chest you get the craftsman's hammer now the weapon I've never used it before I don't know if the weapons any good I would guess and say that it's probably not that great you also get a twinkling titanite which is pretty epic but the weapon itself is kinda cool because if you read the item description it's Andre's hammer from the first game. If you guys don't know who Andre is, he's the blacksmith that is at the Undead Parish. I believe that was the name of that place. It was like the church. But basically, he's the first blacksmith that you run into, and he's freaking awesome. A lot of people love Andre, including myself. Alright, so I have all these souls. Let's go ahead and go to Majula. That way we can actually upgrade our weapon to plus five. And I do have a lot of souls, so maybe what I'll do with these souls is I will try to upgrade the armor shop. And I kind of want to buy the Alvin's armor, because that armor is actually pretty freaking epic. And it looks cool, too. Alright, let's see. Reinforce our weapon, broadsword plus five. Now, we should be able to get another large titanite shard. I believe you get another one at No Man's. So it's going to be a while, but it's whatever. Okay, we have a whole bunch of souls, and we can also go ahead and use these as well. We do not need the soul of a hero. Not soul of a hero, the soul of the pursuer. I don't even know why I just said that. But yeah, you don't need the soul of the last giant or the soul of the pursuer, because those weapons are pretty much unusable for this run. And all you can do with those is make the weapons. Alright, now let's head over to this dude, and we can basically talk to him. Now, you could kill him, and if you kill him, you can get his armor. There's no reason to do it for this run, but his armor is pretty awesome, because if you get it, like, right away at the start of the game, then you can use it for, like, the entire game, and you get a lot more souls if you do that. It's pretty freaking epic. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and buy his shields right now, and I believe I'm going to buy the falcon armor and that's it for now and he will upgrade his shop to like stage two that's what I would call it stage two or something like that and then he has a third stage I do not remember how many souls you have to spend I believe it's either 16,000 or it might be like 24,000 either way it's really whatever I just don't want to mess this up because this will basically waste a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and buy the Elite Knight's armor. And that that one is actually uh, pretty expensive. I mean, look, it's like 4000 plus I'll buy the gauntlets and the leggings. That should do it. At least I would guess that should do it. So now let's go ahead and make our way back over to the bonfire. And then we can rest at it again and that should reset his shop and then you can buy personally my favorite armor that he sells which is the Alvin's armor it's really light it gives you decent defense which I don't really know if it's necessary for this run because honestly I'm gonna have so low health for the entire run that I seriously doubt I'm gonna be able to like tank hits so for the most part I have to basically try to never get hit that's going to be the key all right let's go ahead and buy every piece of it and now we can sit here and equip all the pieces so let's do that real quick i might not wear the helmet because i have such a pretty face and i don't want to block it out let's see 56 percent that's not bad yeah okay i'll wear the helmet for now and eventually we will try to upgrade the armor in fact i have 4600 souls I'm going to go upgrade the chest, like, right now, and I guess we'll go back and warp to Hyde's Tower. So, the chest piece is the one that gets the most defense, so this is the one I would say you should probably use your Titanite Shards to upgrade. 
And maybe the lakes too. The lakes would be not bad either. So let's upgrade that to plus three. And let's upgrade this to plus one. Now that should improve our defense. Let's see what we have. We have pretty much 300 versus all the physical stuff. That's not too bad for the early stage of the game. And let's go ahead and warp back over to the Tower of Hyde. And we need to go and fight the Dragon Slayer. Which this guy... This is going to be interesting. I mean, he's not that hard to dodge. But he's really easy if you can block him. The only problem is, is that this shield does not have 100% physical defense. So blocking him might not be the best thing. And yeah, we'll have to see. And it doesn't have that much stability either, which is another problem. Alright, let's go ahead and avoid this guy. Let him swing three times. Now, the one I want to kill is the one with the hammer. Because I do want to get the bone dust from him. Now, there is something else I wanted to bring up in this video. Which, to me, is pretty important to talk about. Because I'm really confused. Basically, in one of my NG Plus 10 videos, I was talking about how I have... Actually, I believe it was the final... The final episode of my NG Plus 10 series. I was talking about how I have three new games. And I wanted to know which one of the three games would you guys want to see a new series for. Like a Let's Play. And my problem is, is that I don't want to start multiple series. Like I don't want to do a series for all three games. And my Dark Souls series. Because then what will happen is, is that I will neglect one series potentially. And I don't want that to happen. That is not what my channel is about. It's never been about that. I like to basically start a series, and I really like to complete this series. Unfortunately, I'm not always able to do that, but I try really hard to make sure if I'm going to start something, I'm going to finish it. So that is what this channel is all about. So I don't want to sit there and start like multiple series and have them all running together. Because if I was to do that, then, you know, maybe I'll get really into one game, but I won't be that into another game. And if that happens, unfortunately, I will probably end up neglecting that particular series. Now, the thing is, is that a lot of people were commenting and they were saying, you know, I want to see this, I want to see that. But then someone came out with a straw poll, which was an excellent idea, whoever you were. And I basically posted it myself and I said, you know, hey guys, someone made a straw poll. Uh, you should definitely vote for which one of the three games you want to see the most. And yeah... Now, L.A. Noor basically lost. I mean, it got a lot of votes. I believe the last time I checked it, it had like 52 votes or something like that. I don't really remember, but it was in third place, so it totally lost. Oh, God, this is really going to suck. I need to be so careful here because I really do not want to have to kill these fools. All right, so if this ever happens to you, what you want to do is just run back over here, let them chase you, and then, yeah, you can basically juke them and go pull the lever and get up. The bridge thing anyway so the two games that basically won were the walking dead season one which if i played season one of the walking dead i will definitely get season two and do that and eventually when season three comes out i'll be able to do that so that will be really cool you know but that one actually won and last time i checked it had like 65 votes okay now, Max Payne 3 came in second, but it had 63 votes. So, I mean, it was so freaking close. It was unbelievable how close it was. And I'm still kind of confused on which one of those two games should I start and which one should I do. I might literally have to start both the series because that's just too close, you know? Because I know a lot of people might not have voted. And if they didn't vote, then, you know... Maybe uh, Max Payne 3 did win. You know, it is like a pretty action-packed game. And I'm sure a lot of people would be uh, pretty interested in seeing me play it since I've never played it before. And I've never watched anyone else like play through the game. So I really don't know what happens in that game. Oh, God. Oh, don't hit me. I got lucky there. Yes. Yeah, so like I said, overall, I'm pretty much confused at this point. I might have to try to start both series and I just got totally wrecked. I need to be so careful here. Oh, God, he's he's on my ass. Uh, leave me alone! Uh. Come on, heal, 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 heal. All right, good. Yeah, that should totally miss. Oh, uh, fuck, here we go again. Pretty easy to dodge that attack. But yeah, I'm pretty confused. I don't know which one of those two games am I going to end up doing. We'll have to see. I'll tell you what. I will repost 
that link to the straw poll in the comments and I will also post it in the description so if you haven't voted on it yet go and vote on it now oh god man that was close that was super fucking close let's see if I block him oh that was pretty good I'm about to say that better not hit me all right come on at me brah come at me brah his AI is really stupid, so if you block and then circle, you can get him to do that a lot, and then, yeah, you counterattack the shit out of him. Whoa! Fuck! You, dude. Alright, I need to be super careful here, because he can kill me in three hits. Don't want that. Yeah, that's what you want, though. You want him to do that. Be careful, though. Alright. That's another good time to go in for a counterattack. Alright, here we go. Come on. Do one of those big swings again. Those are the best. Super easy to dodge those. Oh, not that. I did not want to see that. That's really easy to dodge, though. Here we go. That's what you want, because you can get multiple hits off. Oh, I'm going to get smacked by that. Okay, good. It didn't kill me, but it was close. All right, I'm not gonna even going to heal. I don't even care. Let's go. Let's go. You're going to die, bitch. And I got him. Yeah, buddy. That is right. Alrighty. So now, I cannot join the Blue Sentinels. Although, if I could, there's really no reason. I guess there is a reason. One item I might actually buy. You know, this really sucks. Because I'm going to have to figure out a way. Ah, oh, man. I might have to throw down my sign and do some co-op to get one of those tokens. So I can actually join its covenant. Because I do want to be able to buy... Holy water urns. Those are like super good. I know they're good for PvP. I don't really know how good they are for PvE. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to test it or something. Anyway, guys, but yes, I will definitely post that straw poll, and you guys should totally vote on it. Because right now, like I said, I'm just. I, I want to start that series. But I really don't want to have to start both those games because I don't want to end up neglecting a series. You know, I, I want to basically try to dish it out. Honestly, though, if I was to say which one would I prefer to do, okay, between Max Payne 3 and Walking Dead, I would say I would prefer to do The Walking Dead. Reason why is because I would assume that that game isn't going to be all that long, and it's not like going to be frustrating or really hard or anything like that, but... I would prefer to do it because if it's not that long, once I beat it, then I guess I could start Max Payne 3. Because eventually, they probably will come out with a Max Payne 4. And instead of just jumping on the bandwagon, which is something that I really do not like to do. And the reason why I am not all about that is because too many people do that. They'll never play the other games, but when a game is really popular and everybody is watching it and you can get a lot of views, they will do the game. And they do it because they want to get views and subscribers. Now, I do do that, but... I like to first establish my channel, meaning this. Like, if I'm going to do Dragon Age 3, I want to upload Dragon Age Origins. I want to do a Let's Play. I want to do a series. Then I did Dragon Age 2. And now, when Dragon Age 3 comes out, everyone's going to be expecting me to do Dragon Age 3. Which makes a lot of sense. But most people on YouTube, they don't do it like that. They will do a game because it will get them views and subs. So I don't want to be that guy. So instead, what I want to do is I actually do want to, like, play Season 1 and 2, so when Season 3 comes out, I can do it, and everyone's like, well, yeah, you know, he did Season 1, he did Season 2, so it's pretty obvious that he's going to do Season 3. I mean, that's what I've done with Dark Souls. I played Dark Souls 1 quite a bit. I try to upload it as much as I could, so people knew, like, right away that I was going to pick up Dark Souls 2, and I was definitely going to do Dark Souls 2, and... I mean, it has really paid off, I have to be honest, because you guys are fucking awesome. And I know you guys love these Dark Souls videos, and I fucking love doing them. So, I mean, it's like a win-win. And it's been great, because I've gotten a lot of views from this. I've gotten, like, literally over 12,000 subscribers from Dark Souls 2. I mean, that is really freaking epic, guys. So, you know... This is a big shout out to everyone, all of you guys, especially if you're a newer subscriber of mine who subscribed for Dark Souls 2. And one thing I will say, because somebody actually left this comment, and I was like a little bit taken back from it, 
and the common was is that if I do any other game besides Dark Souls 2, okay, if I was to do Walking Dead Season 1 or Max Payne 3, start a separate series that would run alongside my Dark Souls 2 Soul Level 1 Challenge Run series, they're unsubbing. And I'm like, really? Like, even if I'm still doing, you know, PvP and I'm still doing Dark Souls 2 stuff, like, you're going to unsub just because I do another series to another game? What if a game comes out and I pick it up, like a brand new game, because I will also be doing Destiny eventually. Once that game comes out, I'm definitely getting on that. Because that game looks fucking sick. I've been watching some of the Alpha. And oh man, I'm so excited to play that game. But yeah, you know, when a new game comes out, I will be doing it. But I don't understand. Like some people are like, you know, oh, if you stop doing Dark Souls 2, I'm, I'm gone. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm unsubbing. And it's like, oh, well, that's kind of disappointing. I kind of get it for, like, if I just completely stop doing this game, but eventually, you know, I will have to stop doing the game, because eventually, this game will be old as shit, and there's not going to be that many people playing it anymore. Oh god, I did not mean to guard break there! But yeah, eventually, that will happen to this game. That happens to all games. And, you know, everyone's going to be hyped up for something like Bloodborne, which I'm totally going to be doing too, before you ask. You know, I will definitely be doing that game. So, yeah, you know, that's basically how I would answer that. If I stop doing Dark Souls 2 one day, I will definitely do Dark Souls 3 if it, if it ever comes out, or Demon Souls 2. Now, I can't do Demon Souls. I know a lot of people always say, oh, you should go and play Demon Souls, and I would love to be able to play that game. I want to play that game. But I don't have a PlayStation 3, so <laughs> you see my problem? That is kind of a big problem there. But yeah, so, you know, just keep that in mind, guys. If I ever do stop doing Dark Souls 2, I will eventually, you know, even if you don't care about any game I might be currently doing, you should still be subscribed because eventually I will pick up a game that you're going to be interested in. Maybe you'll check it out. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Holy shit. I'm at 22 minutes right now. I did not expect me to be going for this long. I don't really know if I have enough time to actually beat this area. I want to. Don't get me wrong, I really do. Oh, man. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to end the episode. Because, generally, this area takes me about 10 minutes to do. At least 10 minutes. And that's just kind of like a, a fast run-through of the area. But if I actually want to run through this area, collect all the stuff, it's going to take me probably like 15 minutes. This is a pretty long area. Generally, when I summon people here, like, they will time out. I mean, that's how long this area actually is. So, I don't want this episode to be 40 minutes long. I'm sorry that it's only, like, 23 minutes long, but, you know, hey, more episodes in the future. Anyway, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please be sure to like and favorite the video for me. I always appreciate that. And, yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day, and poo so